Hey everybody, this is Steven Totillo from Kotaku, and we've got another gaming stream for you. This time we are looking at The Turing Test, which is a portal-style game for the Xbox One and uh, PC. It's made by Bulkhead Interactive. It can be gotten for 20 bucks. And uh, you saw in the title screen there, a woman, an astronaut, we play as her. It's a first-person game, so you're not really seeing her. I don't know if we know her name or not. But she is on a mission with a bunch of other not, astronauts to she Europa, the moon of Jupiter. And uh, she was up in the spaceship or the space station. They were down on the planet in the space base. And something has gone awry. The crew is missing. By the way, uh, you're welcome. I, you know, I know people wanted to see what the Turing test loading screens look like. And I went that extra mile just for you, the, the Facebook community, to show you the Turing test, the loading screen. You're welcome. Yeah, why would we start here? Why would we start with action? Uh, but here we go. So the crew helped. intentionally cut communication with the satellite. I found the source of the problem. They have sabotaged the communication array. Can we fix it? Not from here. We should carry on. Okay, so we're about, um, this is how far into the game we are. You do 10 puzzles. 10 puzzle rooms, and then you get to a transitional uh, moment in the space station that you're going through. Uh, as I was saying, you are part of a crew. The rest of the crew has gone missing. We're beginning to figure out that the crew may have some beef with the AI, this AI named Tom, that runs the station here on Europa. And that's what he was just talking about here. The crew has sort of cut off communication so that he can't know what they were doing. But anyway, I went through the first 10 missions, and then I read a little bit of, you know, it was like in the crew's, like, um, command area and I was able to read some computer terminals, did 10 more missions, 10 more puzzle rooms, got to into their quarters and read their like emails and stuff like that, got to into uh, their quarters and then and read their here we are in the beginning of like what that. I guess my fourth chapter, and then here and we are in the beginning, um, this is not a gun, I can't show you bullets, but what I can do uh, this is not a gun, boxes. and the main thing that's going on here is the idea of trying to manipulate electrical charges on and off in order to open hatches, in this case I want to get this ladder. I spoke to Todd Howard once a long time ago back when Bethesda developers would talk to us and he said that ladders always vexed him in game design and that he uh, he excluded any ladders from Fallout 3. He just always had trouble getting ladders to work in his games. I have not played Fallout 4 so I don't know if there's any ladders in there. If there are, let me know. That would mean there's a big breakthrough that uh, we can't ask him about. Uh, okay, so these magnets are introduced earlier on and I can move them back and forth. They themselves have a charge and that could come into play as well so this bridge I can walk oh, I can't walk around there. Not. there is up there I can pull that charge out if need be now the magnet's off and um, I wouldn't be able to move it but I'd be able to do other things with it uh, let me just let's just get that so clearly I want to pick up at least one of these Should not be that tough a room because it's the first of ten. For those who came in a few minutes late, we are playing the Turing test. You missed a really exciting loading screen, but otherwise you haven't missed much of anything. And we're in the first of the room. Okay, so here we go. Now I actually would want to pull the charge out of here. So this gun pulls the charges out and then puts them back in. Charge creates the bridge. So they taught me in the previous chapter that one of the things you can do is interrupt electrical flow. And this door is clearly being held tight shut by this electrical flow. So uh, I know what I want to do. You guys figured that out, right?
precision. No, that's gonna that's gonna work. Okay, so how do we get this? Oh. Oh. Games like this, games like Portal, uh, they're you know, satisfying to play for people who like puzzles and who like that feeling that game has. The game can give you when you have a reason. In this case, what I've done is I have a bridge. Use the bridge and the magnet to block the flow. And through the bridge I go. And the motor choke here is loads. You see the the squares there in the progress bar there. The progress screen, so now we're in the second row. They really are trying to lock me out of every system. This is ridiculous. What have you done to upset them, Tom? Why have they cut off communication? Perhaps they have a problem with authority. He doesn't sound malevolent at all, does he? he sounds like he's gonna be a friend. I guess it's time to sort of a natural rhythm not to when I shoot the level. Yeah, so look, it's gonna bring those two to the level. And then it's gonna bring that one up to that one. And then I just need to be able to sort of this. Purple on this. It's always too high. There. Solving the Turing test, proving I am not a, a robot, or if I'm really passing the Turing test, that means I am an artificial intelligence. Wait, I'll, I, I'll, read, I'll read the comments from Peter Gallery. All right, that's the middle of my my joke and my my hype man here, Nick Stango, interrupting. Is this another video proving how Sean Murray lied to us? No, this is a video where you cannot determine if I am truly passing the Turing test whether or not I'm a human being, or whether I'm a computer. Because the whole idea of the Turing test uh, is probably to figure out if you can easily jump in the game. The idea of the Turing test is a test. Alan Turing, the um, great mathematician, 
his uh, concept was would you would you be able to tell that a, an artificial intelligence is artificial or would you be able to be tricked into thinking that it was human and uh, could a person have a conversation and I forget what the parameters are you can look it up I'm sure it's on Wikipedia but could you have a conversation with a computer and be tricked to think it's a real person and you can think of all the different ways that uh, you've ever talked to like Siri on your phone or to um, bad bad very barely intelligent artificial intelligence and how easily you can tell that it's a robot right because they're just stupid because they do not and um, something that has to has to be on the that. so we've been taught the green and the red and now we've got the blue which is constant and um, oh, the idea that Sean Murray lied I don't know by the way that whole thing I know people are pretty salty about all that but I mean, I think there's something to the idea that there's stuff that they wanted to do that they then didn't pull off. Um, or maybe there's stuff they never intended to do and they just said they were going to do it. I mean, that's just less plausible than the game developers I've ever spoken to. Most they seem to want to do stuff. Even the notorious Peter Molyneux. I you know, always felt like he really wanted to do the things he said he was going to try to do in his games. And that at some point, like, his, uh, his hype or his presentation to the press got ahead of him. And he didn't know how to reel it back in. And then he would talk about how, oh, I need to reel myself back in. And then he, even then, he would have trouble doing so. Uh, so I don't know, somewhere along the line, I think that uh, the Hello Games people might have realized people are expecting this game to do things it doesn't actually do. But I don't know how you communicate that. It's a shame that they have uh, yet to find a way to explain what happened there. What do you think? How am I going to get this one low? Or it's just, I guess, getting this one elevated, right? So I need to pull the right charge from that. I don't think it's going to be this one, because this one will be constant. Oops. This is a little visually confusing in the game. You have these boxes, and it looks like they're, you can't put a box in there. I haven't played this game since Sunday, so I kind of forgot. You actually can put that box and go inside that box. But that one's constant, so that's useless. So let's take that one out. And uh, instead... that. So we go from floor level to even. And clearly that one's going to need to reach higher. So we should give it one purple maybe. And let's give it a shot. Uh, this is a purple Okay. So this is, by the way, maybe not so much so fun for you guys to watch because it just seems a little tedious for you, probably as a viewer, because you're just watching me brute force my way through the puzzle. I think the bridge puzzle is quite fun, more fun for you guys to watch. Let's hear it. Who preferred watching the bridge puzzle? Who prefers watching the snare puzzle that we're doing right now? Tell me in the comments. I don't know if we can do a poll. Next thing, can we do a poll on Facebook? Because there's a lag. There's a lag from the poll. Here. Okay, wait, we're going to jerry-rig this. Uh, thumbs up for the bridge puzzle being better. Heart for preferring the stair puzzle. Okay, thumbs up for the bridge puzzle. Heart for the stairs puzzle. Uh, let's see. I'm seeing a lot more bridge puzzle votes. Because <laughs> I'm just standing here at the stair puzzle not doing anything. Stair puzzle will be more fun if you actually solved it, Steven. Uh, right, so we go level here. And then how would I get to those up there? So I have a blue constant, which is, it seems, well, unless this, if I remove this, does this move? No, I just pushed it up. So. That sucks. Trouble here. Trouble in the Turing test. I might need some advice from the people. Can I get the can I get the charges from down here, folks? What do you think? Uh, not seeming like it. Unless No. Why would they still give me access to this room? Would there be a reason to bring one of these down there? No, 
this was a big waste. It was a big waste. Nick Stango, what are the people saying? <laughs> uh, can I get some practical advice instead of mockery? Doing this for you people. Doing this for the people. Jose Mario says, light up all the platforms minus the, high, the last highest one. Get on the first platform and transfer to the second Wait, one. is he just reading an FAQ or something? What's on the second? Wait, take, this, this take is disturbing. Take the ball from the first. No, 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 no. This is not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because I would be able to throw a charge in there and then pull that charge. Yeah, I can pull that charge out. I'm not, I'm not down with just being given the answer. Is that, is that what just happened though? Is it too late? Has that ship sailed? Right, because I can pull the charges out from somebody's. That's what that's that's what that's what he's saying. So what do I need this this box? What do I need the box? Alright. Incremental. I'm I'm this far in. Jose's suspiciously detailed explanation <laughs> and try that. Press the space bar to jump. We've got a lot of like, serious peanut gallery here. Uh, <laughs> I was breezing through this game at home and I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna try the next next chapter when I when I stream it for the people. From my for what I'm looking at, it seems like maybe you have to use um, that back one in the corner, you store maybe you store something in the back corner. Store something in the back corner. The back, the back one, the back. Square. Well, clearly I can. Once I'm on the platforms, I can pull from here and shoot yeah. it into that one to make that one move. So the really the only one that's a problem is this one right here because I have to commit to whatever I'm putting in these. So maybe put before the, I go up. the one that lowers that one. Put that one in there for now, and then figure out how to get up there. Unless you can. Figure out how to get up there unless you can. Yeah, unless you can't make that platform lower and also not be able to get up there. The problem is this stupid one here. It seems pointless. I feel like that the, the constant is good for the first platform once you're on top of it. But I can't put it in there. Oh, you can't put it in unless you're close to it. What if I go here? The constant, I'm having lost platforms. People are saying put the constant charge on the wall when you're on the platform, but you can't reach it. Oh, I was holding a charge. Oh. <laughs> so <there's somebody laughs> what? Somebody goes, grab a charge in your gun. <laughs> true, true, true. <laughs> but what is, what is it's a blue charge? It just raises it. So raise the platform, the middle Oh, you can't. Still, still need to do. Oh, 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 oh! I got it! I got it! I got it! It's solved. It's solved. Don't worry, folks. We're moving on. Remember that time when I was stuck on that puzzle and it seemed like I was never gonna get past it? Remember that? Remember how embarrassing that was? But, uh, that time is in the past. Now it is the time of success. Ben says he's seen this room so much he can draw from memory now. Ben, you're going. We're going right past this room. Look at this. So oh, good. <laughs> what I do wrong here? I want to be able to go. Cause I was ready to go up, uh, jump up on this, and then go to that one, and then and then do the up and down thingy over the, with the charge over there. Oh man.
back to the guy who had the exact solution. What was he saying? Let's <laughs> scroll, scroll up. Get the cheat code. He says, light up all the platforms. Light us the last highest one. Yeah, that would figure out. Get was. on the first platform and transfer to the second. Once on the second, take the ball from the first platform. Make your way. So the problem is one of these doesn't allow for, for movement. And it only seems to move to maximum height. Unless, unless I'm missing something where this thing moves something to other than maximum height. Well, that's not terrible, that one. Is that reachable? thing I haven't tested, and this is probably where the solution lies in, is whether or not the blue here leads to greater height, which still doesn't get me high enough. I was going to face many challenges today, I did not think this was going to be one of the challenges. What if you put that one, the, the box thing, on the third platform? Does that make sense? Or does it does that send it all the way to the top? The box clearly is gonna go in one of these three. We know that. So the, one of the big life decisions we need to make now is deciding whether or not one of the box here. If the box is here, we need to be able to reach that with either the blue. The blue does not go high enough. But the, the box or makes it go as high as possible. Seems that way. Or the purple, and let's see if the purple goes high enough. Purple doesn't go high enough either. So in either case, if we were standing on top of the platform and shot one of the electric things in there, we wouldn't be able to reach the same height as that. So let's take the box out, put it here, where is it broke? So now, that thing is all the way to the top. I know there's no way that that thing is gonna... Unless... 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 Oh wait, folks. Brief moment of excitement. Ah, uh, there's glass here. I was gonna... I thought I could get into the strut. They, they knew I was gonna try to do that, and they stopped. I was gonna try to jump from, from spot to spot. This is gonna feel great when we saw this. Could, could the I box see. go in the last one because it has to be that high anyway? I'm still wondering if I can pull a charge from here. But then how would you get back up? I'd be putting the box in. Ah, uh, okay. But I don't think that... I think they're constantly moving, though. Yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to get on the last platform. Yeah, they've got the glass here, too. Remember when we were just solving this bridge? The simple test. They really, they really let me in. Every level before this, but, but the it's like constant box in that last one. This one. Yeah, yeah. But the or, well, the, the box, the one that makes it stay at the highest. And then put that in the last class. Oh wait. On that one, we definitely are going to just want to shoot the charge in once we're yeah, high up. Yeah, you're right. So, we are back to Nightmare. We want a third charge. Look at that. Three charges.
kind of alternating sequence there is kind of nice, right? And that, in theory, I could be using for higher but The other problem is I have this useless blue one. Blue one is blue one only is is as bad as it's another concept. So store the so the, I want to store the blue one, and that's what I think I want to use in this. Yeah. The blue one is going to be the one where if I'm standing on something and I shoot, I go up. And I want it that when I shoot it, I'm at a high enough level that I can then take advantage of whatever's in the next thing. So this one needs to be alternating already. It needs to be preset to alternate. So I want that to do like green. So we'll see green or green or purple here. So if I were to use green, it needs to be that high. Let's see what purple does. It brought me level with where that'll be. Case, if I were to put blue, the blue box constant in, it would shoot this thing to the top, so we don't want that. So, we go green. Oh! Oh, there we go. So that goes really high. That's it, right? And then, that'll match. And then, yeah, I think, I think we finally, finally got it. Folks, uh, I don't know, I don't even want to look at the concurrence right now. We probably lost everybody. No, you're about to say this. People, you were with me in this life experience. Uh, oh, whoop, whoop, whoops. And... Uh, I hope I get some nice emojis as a result of this, at the very least. Oh my god. Wow. Wait, still need, still need to get that thing. So, by far the hardest puzzle, and yet you see you can reason through the things logically um, and uh, eventually work stuff out. One of the things though, they are trying to sabotage this mission. I need you to help me, Ava. The ground team have cut me off from most of the facility. I thought you were in control. I thought I was too. The ground team have attempted to systematically remove me from most of the facility. I am fighting back. Hmm. Uh, okay, so uh, I guess her, our name is Ava. So interrupting opens the door. Seems like that wouldn't be the solution, right? What are the people? What are the people suggesting this one next time? They're still talking about that robot voice guy. How bad he is? How he's evil? He just sounds like a really bad voice actor. People are saying Alfred Pennyworth, sort of. variables to this puzzle other than possibly my I mean that's I don't think that's yeah because that, that thing 
drops. It's too fast. I don't think I have a throw. That, there's no that wall is it, that little knob at the wall is something you can interact with, right? The where the, the power is coming from, where the source is coming. That definitely opens in this room, right? That weird square part of it. Unless I can suck in that charge. Oh my god, man, put that thing in the laser on the wall. Oh, I got it. For those coming in late, you missed um, me breezing through the previous chapters of the game, showing my advanced levels of intelligence. I had no problems with any of the puzzles at all. This is the Turing Test, a $20 game from Bulkhead Interactive. It's very much in the style of Portal. I was. Uh, What's going on here, Tom? Tom? Sorry. The ground team, they're hiding from us. They're afraid of you. As the instrument of the ISA, I am the authority aboard this station. The crew have violated that authority. They are trying to remove me from my own home. The, the disadvantage that games like this have is that not just that they're compared to Portal, which is such a great game, but that um, the mechanical portal of shooting a portal on one wall and then on another wall, walking through that portal to come out the other, is so. so so physically, I guess virtually physically fun, that any other gameplay mechanic is just going to seem less fun in comparison. So in this case, yeah, it's nice that we're like, charging things on and off and making some smart puzzles, but it's just nothing compared to walking through the holes and walls and coming out of the hole. So it's sort of like Portal kind of did such a good thing, you know, already that it's hard for other games to compete in terms of quality. Then on top of that, Portal has that, that great plot twist uh, late in the game. And so here we are, you know, sort of wondering what the nature is of what's going on here. And maybe there's going to be a twist. Yeah, but we already played a game that had one of those twists. So if anything, is the twist might be that there is no twist here. I don't know what uh, where the story is going. That guy does sound like a jerk, though, so Tom is probably evil. Or since it's called the Turing Test, are we going to find out that Tom is actually a person with pretending to be an evil? Think about it. So standing on this or putting something on this causes this step to go up. So not something we can access. So what are we trying to do here again? Oh, I see. So we'd be able to go into that. So how do we control this from there? I am breaking through their security, trying to get back control. Developers of this game previously made a game called Numa Breath of Life. I did not play it, but I believe it is also very much a thinking player's game, I mean, puzzles and stuff like that. So this is, this is their, uh, their style, is their thing. Having 
played the first few missions already, do, do you know anything about this base that we're at? Like, where are we or anything like that? Yeah, Europa. Oh, uh, okay. Um, moon of Jupiter. And, yeah, the crew is clearly shut off access to the AI, or at least this is what he's telling us. Shade 2001. Yeah, I was going to say a nice 2001 reference. I wish I could I, I could see the comments and, and uh, try, maybe I'll try to try to look over and answer any questions people have about this. Uh, no, nothing. No, you, you all are just talking about Portal. I guess because I brought up Portal. Fun game to talk about. I guess we'll never get a Portal Three. That's sad. Sorry to bring it down. We want to want to do what here? Not a lot of not a lot of charge happening in this here room. A lot of things I want to turn on, but I don't have any charge on. Them. And there's no charge down here. That thing is turned off. That thing is turned off. What is this opening? I think it's opening the door. It sounds like a door, or is it? I'm not sure what it's opening. We can put this box on it to find out. I think this is one of those, yeah, they're not going to turn anything on, so they're just going to be used to pull the charges back out or, or hold them there in reserve. So, um... That seems like that's, that bridge is too long for me to be expected to spread across. Yeah, that's very, very long. And they put this, the barriers on the side here so that I can't pull off the charge on the side. This is probably going to be the last room we're going to do. So I'm going to be on the right side. Lost battle. Slide through the lost battle. Oh, I see. Right? If I. charge. It seems really finicky. We're fine to do that. Pull that back. Pull this out. Come on. Put the blue in there. Put the green.
Interactive, $20 on Xbox One and Steam. You saw me battle my way through, I guess, the exact midpoint of the game. Puzzles, a mystery as to what everybody's favorite, possibly malevolent AI, possibly a person pretending to be an AI Tom is doing. And it can be yours if you like this kind of puzzle stuff. Yeah, you should play it. I wanted to just hear what he had to say in the next room. Ava, I do not want to force your hand. But what do you remember of the ground team? They're good people. Sarah? The hardest working woman I've ever met. Right. Do you see them as the rebellious type? Uh, they didn't strike me as rebellious. If they've taken down parts of your system, they must have their reasons. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Thanks for watching, folks. Have a good one. We'll be back with another stream later in the week.